Hello everybody, Ben Emerson here, head professional at San Martins Golf Club. I'm joined with Stuart, our course manager, and today we are going to show you how to repair a pitch mark correctly so you can enjoy some nice smooth greens. Coming up in today's video. So Stuart, here we are. We've got a pitch mark on the eighth green at San Martins. Please, can you show us how to repair this properly? Yep, I can do that for you. Uh, as you can see, the ball's traveled in from the tee. Uh, and as it's landed, it's, it's pressed the surface away from itself. What we need to do is uh, go in and just reverse the process, really. Tap down, generally with your putter, and then uh, it's ready for play. So with that pitch mark now being repaired, how long will that take to, to kind of completely disappear? Uh, it, should be, it should be repaired within a couple of days. Um, poorly wow. repaired could take up to three weeks. Um, <laughs> up to three weeks? I know, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it can create a bit of a problem with ball roll, um, especially when you think some greens will get maybe 20 or 30 pitch marks a day. So Stuart, here is somebody who's very unlucky not to have got a hole in one. Yes. But that is a really badly repaired pitch mark. What has someone done here so wrong for it to look like that? Why is there no grass covering and you just see mud? So essentially what they've done is instead of in pulling the, the turf back in the right direction, they've probably gone in and just lifted the soil from underneath, tapped it down with their putter, and it's now just bare soil. So, so they have actually tried to make an attempt to, yeah, to repair they've, they've it. They've obviously given it a go, yeah. But how long will that now take to repair? With uh, no grass covering on it that, at all. That will take two or three weeks, probably. 